What's up YouTube, it's your boy Slay Island and the NBA 2K League playoffs are finally here. The eight teams have been decided and today we have the first round being played. The first round is a single game elimination, the semis is a best of three, as well as the finals. There will be a total prize pool of $600,000 given away to these eight teams. After this weekend, we'll know the two teams that are competing for the first NBA 2K League championship. Let's get to the first game of the weekend. 76ers Gaming Club taking on Wizards District Gaming. And the first points of the playoffs come from... It's Team Ball versus Iso Ball. And there's... A 360 jam. Island, their motto going back to Rocky IV. Ivan Drago, if he dies, he dies. Well, right now he's playing a 60. Feast with the offensive board, and he goes in with a two-hand jam. By Feast. Up ahead to New Dini for three. Got it! 5-0 run for the Sixers. And they're going to dominate the boards. Many time you come out with a slashing rebounder, rebounding athletic in those archetypes, you are going to slaughter them. You should have almost double the amount of rebounds, counting on really Gilly and Boo to try to carry that rebounding load. You just can't do it. You got to make sure you're boxing out at least one person. Out of your point guard. ZDS, bang! They're up 10. When you're an ISO team and you go for a lot of twos, you don't want to get down. Tough to come back. Another rainbow from Radiant. We said that he's a little bit more hesitant to when he does it, so now he's opting to go with the floater when he gets some space because it's actually quicker. Got off to a little bit of a slow start. Radiant, final seconds. Gives it to Steve's reverse jam with two seconds. We win some cool in game action. We'll be doing that each and every game throughout the playoffs. Steve's two hand jam. 12 point ball game. JT for three, and it's green. You're not playing for $600,000 at that moment in time. You're playing for it now. Yeah, 50 grand alone just on this game. Most respect, especially for esports players who have completed their college education, have a degree. It's always something nice to see. We got plenty of players in the league who have done it. They're trailing by eight. This would cut it to two possessions, and they do. So that's all it takes. You just get a few of those stops. And the 76ers are up 10. Boo. Back and forth. Puts Feast on skates. This time gets it out to JT. They run a two-man game. Pick and roll to perfection! That heat ring, the heat indicator. Gives it to Steez. And one! They're jumping, hoping and praying that you get a block. Got some folks asking in chat where we are in the playoffs. Minute away from the Alienware halftime show. Radiant, no one will stop him. And maybe the hesitation there. I think he could have finished, but they get the and one instead. So even him just sitting there for so long. Strong. Back out to Radiant. And another opportunity. Steez has got 18. You know, there's a thing on the controller. I think it's L2 or left trigger. <laughs> I mean, in that situation where Steez is the player going up, you're at the free throw line, and, J and Feast is cracked. Towards that dead zone, he's going to get a poster animation on you. Some of the stuff is out of your control. Contact layups are the big thing, too. Radiant late on the recovery there. and J Timing's not right, just goes straight through his hands. So what Boo's trying to do is just knock the ball loose, try to get out of bounds. Swings into New Dini, shot clock running down, six to shoot. Radiant! Bang! Late pass to ZDS. He'll take the shot anyway, and he got it. Timeout, Wizards. 58-45. Out of the NBA 2K League playoffs. Radiant. Got it. 21 for Radiant. Seven seconds of the quarter. Boo. Back to JT, and it's green. That cuts it to 10. Need to stop him right here. ZDS, oh my! Answers with a three. 
And it's personal. Look at it again. The bomb. Giving up eight threes. And CDS again. Bang. Five minutes away from Philly moving on. And it is a three-point fest. Get your T-shirts in the lobby. At the elbow. They're up 17. And they go back to Steve. CDS was wide open again, too. Open. Boom. <laughs> Throw it down with Thor's hammer. Get a win. So it has been up and down, but five outs dead. The 76ers blow out the Wizards and move on to the semifinals with a 92-73 win. After being stumped from the MVP voting, Radiant came out with a chip on his shoulder, and he finished with 32 points and 13 assists, while Steez and Feast dominated the glass, finishing with a combined 29 rebounds, while the Wizards only had 13 as a team. The 76ers' defensive principle when stopping a 5-out is not to allow any threes and force the ball handler to score over 60 points in order to beat them. So as you can imagine, Boo Painter scored a lot. He had 45 points, but it was nowhere near enough. There's not much more to say about this game. When you get out rebounded 29-13 and allow more than 90 points, you're probably not winning the game. Moving on to our second game, we have Heat Check Gaming taking on Pistons GT. But it'll end up with Detroit. Yeah, some changes from here right off the rip. I mean, we've seen Heat Check Gaming really move Majestic around. From, it's not going to be a very good time. But this is the matchup that we're going to be looking at, what you saw right off the rip. Hot shot. Ray Gets it to Ramo. And there's Joseph the Truth. Timberlands and all. And that'll prompt a timeout. We're done with that conversation for the rest of the year. It's just going to be an interesting matchup. Guaranteed bucket each time. Level at six. Hot shot with a left-hand jam. Well, double effort. But that was always a big story with this team as well, which is, is there anybody else other than hot shot? And there's a reverse jam. And hot shot got him up in the air. He's got all 14 points. We were able to get to that top side. And I just have to find a way to get a stop. You've allowed heat check gaming to get a good lead. Hot shots getting in rhythm. She brought up before. He has the heat check indicator. He's ready to go. This is the able to take down Wizards District Gaming. First round of single elimination. Tomorrow we'll have the semifinals. 18 right now. He's literally got every point for heat check. Raymond with a jam. He's got 18. Hot shot. You're just going to keep getting buckets. So now they finally switch Joseph over towards him. And honestly, it looks like they're scattered, like they're in a little bit of a zone. And this is a lot of the reason why Miami was very pleased to see this matchup. Doesn't matter how they got it done, but they got you down. Jalen from Bossier City, the gambler. By 14. Hot shot. Got it. 2K League edition of cops. <laughs> I just found him to stop just to make sure. Because there's somebody trailing to his right side, too. So he could just easily dish it off to him. Freddie Mendoza with a G. Just join us. Pistons made a roster move. And you see Freddie Mendoza there. Putting down a tomahawk. Anybody in the kitchen's got a headset. But nevertheless, it works. Joseph. Two-hand jam, he's got 10. Lead cut to seven, they need some stops. The ball gets forced out of Hot Shot's hands, drop off, low, somebody starts to dribble with it. This way you gotta try to get them to make that play. Miami will hold it for the final shot, but Jayla will pull the trigger. Okay. Single elimination here in round number one. And Hot Shot with it, he's got 30. I don't think you're really going to go with that mindset that the 76ers do. We're just going to put him on an island. We're just going to leave him completely. But that's what's going to kill you. you so the thing is, just the Pistons G team, they were never strong in the three-point shooting. There's never no. been a time where they're just banging in five threes every far ahead. you got to start getting some threes just to cut the deficit down a bit. Their backcourt is 0 for 5. They have 13 point contest, make it 15. Hot shot with 34 now. Hot shot will bring it up. And a one hand jam. 
Hot shot with those Jordan 14s will take the last shot. And he'll score. Joseph to trigger. Gets it in the corner. Freddie Mendoza will cash in. There's the pinch. The rotation. Not there. Rux came down to guard the corner. Los gets it a hot shot. Five minutes left in this one. And a thunderous one-hander from Hotshot. Taking on the fifth-seeded Cavaliers. Insanity! His first bucket of the game. Team's losing or not, you know he's scoring. Defense. This is a, such a great defending team. They haven't played five out in a while. And Ramo with a reverse jam. And they've turned the ball over nine times. Compared to Miami's only three turnovers against teams that really play this isolation basketball. His hot shot drops in another. He's got 49. Appreciate those hanging out with us in the Twitch chat here tonight. Maybe the game of the night coming up next. Raptors and Cavs. The Heat blow out the Sixers 85-67 to to move on to the next round. Hotshot was clearly the biggest reason why they won this game, as he finished with 54 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, and only 3 missed shots. Unlike some of these other guys running 5 out, the thing that separates Hotshot is his patience. You rarely see him take a bad shot. He's also a great passer and knows how to get his team open looks from 3. In this game alone, the Heat put up 23 pointers. No other team running the 5 out will ever come close to that number. Right now, the Heat look like they have the makings to be a championship team. Their offense is nearly unstoppable, and they've been playing great defense in the past couple weeks. In this game, they held the Pistons point guard insanity to only 7 points on 3 for 10 shooting and also forced the Pistons to have 10 turnovers. So with this loss, the Pistons season is over. They had a great run, they made it to the playoffs, earned the third seed, but they're going home. It was a very questionable decision from the coach of the year to put insanity at point guard without having played it once the entire season. In my opinion, I'm so far ahead, got you this far, you gotta ride with him. And like always, Ramo played a very good game, but it just wasn't enough to pick up for the backcourt's lack of scoring. Moving on to our next game, we have the four seed Raptors taking on the five seed Cavs. Nick, we'll send you some cool in-game items if you're right. You can do that right now. I'm by. Hood. Snatch back, gets blocked by Kenny. Get that pregame, get the butterflies out of the way. Just start to rely stuff to come into a comfort zone. And I'm expecting fireworks at some point in this game. Kenny has the first six for Toronto. Really got to showcase his talents on a slashing rebounder. So I think him going down there, probably one of the best moves this Cavs Legion team. Rounder in the league. And two-hand jam. Just looking around the studio because I'm very well. And the opening round, sending Philly into the semis tomorrow. And they'll be facing Miami. That's going to be the job done. Hood. Reverse jam there by Sick. Largest lead of the game. Kenny. And Quay will use two hands for safety. He's got it. Hood leads all scorers with 10. Make it 12. Nope, too strong. And there's Sick, though, to clean it up. Almost every time to help clean it up. Got a 2K up ahead. And he'll flush it. Kenny. At the elbow. Quay with a jam. Nearly as many threes from Raptors Uprising. One being made, two just even being attempted. This is a team that would live and die by it. But when you're just going toe to toe like this, like, what are you really praising? Both these teams have already won 25 grand just by making the playoffs. The winner will add 25 more grand to that if they can get a dub. Hold it down on the right stick. I love it. Kenny, he'll be able to get it. A... 39-29. Final seconds here of the half. Hood. Got to get the shot up. And he's patient and sick. Makes a last second shot before the half. He's got a double dunk. Hood. Just seems so much faster than everybody else. A Blazer 5 in Knicks Gaming, which is coming up next. No matter what happens, those semifinals are going to be lit. Maybe not their day. 
And got a 2K. All right. Don't pick of the draft. And King Quay. Hood. That's a brick. Savage. Guarantee he was sitting there just saying, Hood, shoot it. Three players down there still comes out on top of the rebound. 50 to 35. Kenny! Right now is trailing by 13 points. Sick. Heat indicator. And he'll put it to work. Kenny reverse jam. Be something super in depth. It's super basic. You got two guys playing the chuck up and mash mentality better than the other ones. And that comes down. The center is the biggest part of that. Anybody is. A yes, they're completely even. How many of those are offensive? Because I'm going to guarantee Sick has probably got at least six or seven offensive rebounds, and he's converting every single time he gets it. Kenny gets a score there. The momentum starts to go in their favor. They finally cut it down. It yeah. lines everyone together. It's down to seven now. Even a four-point game there. Hood. A little fight through the contact. He's got... Kenny back to Yusuf. That's what they need. Hood. Well, had sick all alone in the basket, but Savage able to answer. You give him a little bit of space, those are shots you typically don't see sharp shooting rim protectors make, but he's cashing in on them. The right flavor on their spot to come back into season two. It's just all matters if organizations want to take that risk. And one. That's one. They get a stop. Back to him, and Kenny will finish. Eight-point ball game. The foul. And oh my, Ole. Sick, this dynamic duo. We're seeing this dynamic duo on display. <laughs> it's green, so it's good. The eyeball man's got to get his shots. 77-62. Hood's still up talking. They're going to punch their ticket to the semifinals. They'll await the winner of our next ball game between Blazer 5 and Knicks Gaming. And just like in real life, the Cavs own the Raptors in playoffs, winning 77-65 to and moving on to the next round. Last week, the Cavs finally moved Hood back to point guard and Sick back to center, the positions they were drafted at. And it's turning out to be a great move. Hood finished with 27 points and 13 assists, and Sick finished with 20 points and 20 rebounds. This change also allowed them to move God of 2K to his natural position at small forward and bring Savage in off the bench. And in their past two games, Savage has gave them great production on both ends. In this game, he had two steals and three blocks. The Raptors, on the other hand, were one of the hottest teams in the league, but now their season comes to an end. They struggled offensively in this game, as they shot only 3 for 10 from beyond the three-point line. Kenny had a great game, finishing with 30 points, 7 rebounds, and 10 assists, and he could have had a lot more, but their center, King Quay, was clogging the paint for the majority of the game. And with Kenny on a build that can't shoot very well, there's not much he can do if the paint is clogged. In my opinion, if King Quay would have just spotted up mid-range more and let Kenny eat, the Raptors could have easily won this game. Now let's get into our final game. We have the one seed Blazer 5 taking on the eight seed, Knicks Gaming. It's gonna be interesting, can Knicks Gaming continue the Cinderella run that got them here? I mean, tournament time is, even when you look at past tournament, every single thing is gonna be identical in terms of the archetypes between these two. The battle I'm looking at, defensive player of the year, Walnut. Joe Mar for defensive reasons. And here is Tournament Kuda. Adam the first. Games. He's a guy who provides an offensive spark, but that's been the story all year long as well. Drop you some in-game gear. Shots! Able to finish! And one! The rim, you get a fresh 24. Idris throws down the hammer. Idris gets a stuff thrown. Against the backboard. I mean, Adam plays it very base. Like I said, he's not doing dribble moves. It's just your whole back and walk, forth. Yeah, walk back. It's been an incredible week in the NBA 2K League. As Mama able to hit from downtown. There's an offensive rebound by Walnut. And Mama now with 11 points. He's got to pull the trigger. No. Up ahead to Mama. Lavish leaking out. Second time tonight that Lavish has got out. We got a timeout by the Knicks. I love shots for what he said, too. 
just being real with the team, yes. no sugarcoating it. And he said, our defense is terrible. Nate gets it a goofy. Two hands for safety. Mama. Rebound by Walnut. They can't keep him off the glass. You're looking at the guys who really set that meta in tone. You remember at the beginning of the year? Oh my god. Oh <laughs> and a nice shot setting it up. Mid-range jumper. And it's just a two-point game. There's their six-man. KPMR. It's going to be there to test the shot. Shots, not going to be able to do much. And back to now a one-point game. To hold it for the final shot of the half. Instead, they'll turn it over. Adam on the break. He'll lay it in. And Adam's got 19. And Blazer 5 wants to talk it over. It is bananas. This is for Blazer 5. You're going to be going into halftime because things are getting scared. Oh, my. They turned it over, Dirk. And yay, not will punch it. This game he does. Jomar, the Puerto Rican miracle for three. I just, I'll just borrow it. I was holding it for a moment. And goofy, acrobatic. It's a three-headed monster right now for New York. And Walnut, the league's MVP, will quiet the crowd for a moment. Six have led ever since quarter number two. Back door from Nate, and one. Still two possession. Walnut. The heat indicator as well. If he keeps on score like this, there's a possibility it can carry over going into that fourth quarter. Taken away by shots, and we are tied. Mama. Misses the shot, but Walnut's right there. What a third quarter for one wild Walnut. I mean, there hasn't been anything convincing to where he can sit there and say, you know what, this team's really going to start to get out of the run. What a shot by Adam the third. The one. Walnut, just doing Walnut things right now. Put Mama on him. Can't turn it over. That's her eighth turnover of the game. And shots with a tough layup. And just like that, a little 5-0 run to start the fourth for Blazer 5. Get the ball back in the fourth quarter. Picture-perfect situation for you to set the tone. Adam the first. Are you kidding me? Shot. That was a grown man block that turned into a turnover. Shots with a two-hand jam. 69-67. Adam steals it right back. And they find Nate Carr. And we're tied at 69. There's a turnover. Well, we fought. Nate Call with a gift, and he blocked! Two-man game of Walnut. Pass doesn't come, but the shot goes down. Turned it over 11 times, and Walnut get that shot out of here, and Ingers will finish. Tied at 73. It happens. Jay Nott! Nearly turned it over. Shot clock running down. They get it to Goofy. In and out. And Idris got the rebound. This game has been decided. Well, if you're in the NBA 2K League and your team is in the West, you are out of the playoffs. The Knicks pull off another huge upset, sending the Blazers home with an 82 78 victory. Nobody projected this going into the season, but I am Adam the First, aka Kid Kuda, is playing like the best point guard in the world. And this Knicks team that nobody thought would be good might actually be the best team in the league. Kuda was spectacular in this game, finishing with 30 points, 13 assists on 11 for 14 shooting, while Mama, the Blazers point guard who was in the MVP race, shot 9 for 21 and only had 20 points. 
and Goofy going against one Wild Walnut, the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, held his own, finishing with 21 points and 13 rebounds, while Walnut had 26 points and 10 rebounds. One thing that shocked me about this game was that Grant Monster wasn't playing for the Blazers. Grant led the league in three-point shooting, shooting over 65%. Instead, they played Jomar, who's only played two games the whole season. Jomar didn't play bad, but in my opinion, you're the number one seed. You gotta play with the lineup that got you this far. So here we have it, the semifinals is set, the Knicks are taking on the Cavs, and the 76ers are taking on the Heat. Once again, these are best of three series, so whichever team can make the best adjustments in between games will play a huge role on who will win. If you want to watch these games live, the 76ers are taking on the Heat at 11 Eastern at twitch.tv slash NBA 2K League, and the Knicks are taking on the Cavs at 4 Eastern. But that's it for this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, and I'm out.